So I'm I'm still cooking in the kitchen. Okay, so don't think I'm not not because I did the sweet potatoes. So now I'm gonna show you how I do this deer backstrap. I'm gonna do it with gravy. And I'm gonna show you just how it is done with gravy. Okay? So uh we're gonna fry it up. And I'm gonna show you how I do it. Okay, I'm gonna take you back. So, so first thing I'm going to do, I have my rice here, okay? So with my rice, I am going to take my rice, I'm going to put it into this pot right here, okay? I'm only fixing two of them. Now, this is success rice. I love success rice because it doesn't come out so mushy. Then I use me some chicken broth in there because it gives it a little flavor, Okay, so I'm going to put me some chicken broth in there. And I'm going to let it boil up in that chicken broth and things. And um, I'll be back. Now, this is my deer straps that I have here. Okay? And what I've done, I soaked them in Italian sausage overnight. Now, I don't want them this thick. They okay if you fry them this thick if you just want to eat them like this here. It's okay to do them like that, but don't cook them all the way because it's going to have still have some of that red in it. And when it still has some of that red in there, boy, you talking about tender. Oh, it's tender. But I'm going to take this right here and I'm making this here up with some gravy. Okay. What we're going to do with the back strap. Now, this is what I want to do with it. Okay. I want to cut it thin like because I'm putting it over some rice, okay? And which means that it's not gonna get cooked a lot. Do not ever take this, this deer straps and put it in gravy because if you do it like that, it'll come out kind of a little mushy If you, because you can overcook this here where it, I'm telling you, it won't, it won't even be right, okay? So I'm going to cook this here up. I'm going to season it up. Kick it up just a little bit because I want it to go with some rice. All right. And then I'm going to show you another thing I'm going to do to it. But I'm going to fix this here one like this here today. And then I'm going I'm to turn around and do another dish with it. But see how thin I'm cutting it? And the only reason I'm cutting it thin like this here because I want it to go over some rice. And I'm going to cook it, and it's not going to take long to cook. It's going to cook quick. So let me go ahead on and cut up some of these, and I'll be back. Now all I have is just this little bit right here left. I'm saving this here because I'm going to show you another recipe I'm going to do with it. Okay, so I'm finishing up, cutting up all of this right here. Cutting it up very thin. Uh, not that thin, but about this thin. Okay, that's how thin I'm going with it. All right. There's so much you can do with backstrap. It's, it's pathetic. But you just got to watch how you cook it. That's all. Just watch how you cook it. Now I'm going to take and put it up in here. And I'm going to season it up some up in here so I can make sure I have my seasoning. We're only going to do black pepper. We're going to do it just like we do chicken. But we're just going to do it the old-fashioned way and think that we didn't have all that seasoning we used to have back there in the day. Okay? Because back in the day when they used to cook, they used to use black pepper and salt. You know, they didn't put all that, everything all on it because everybody didn't have all that in their kitchen. You know, there's only certain things everybody had in their kitchen back then, you know. And unless and you're going to go with something else and things, but in just certain ways, everybody did things back then. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to mix all this here on up in here. Okay. I'm going to mix it all up in here, just like this here. 
Make sure I have enough black pepper on everything and enough salt on it. Put just a little bit more salt. And see what that Italian seasoning does when you do it overnight. It take out all that gainy taste that it may have in it. It give it a totally new taste. My brother showed me that when uh, he was doing that deer leg. Gave it a totally new, different kind of taste. But boy, that mess show was good. Oh, it was good. I ain't even gonna lie, it was good. So we're gonna take this here. I'm gonna put it in some flour, a little bit at a time, because it's gonna go quick when I'm frying it. Okay, so I'm gonna fry up a little bit at a time. Okay, so this right here is gonna go kind of a little quick here while we frying it up. Cause I'm not gonna leave it in there too long. Just for just for a little while. Okay, just for a little while. Okay. So I got this here going like this here. Let me get get to my skillet. Okay, now I'm getting ready to start putting this here on in here. So I can go ahead on and start frying on up here. So this is gonna go kind of quick and I'm gonna have to try to do it a little fast up in here because I got my grease going. I have it on six. Okay, so it's on six. I'm not going to fry it too long. Just a little bit. Just enough to cure it on each side. Because you got to realize that this is thin. It's not, it's not, uh, it's not, uh, thick. I have it kind of thin. Okay. Cause it's gonna finish cooking in the gravy. When a, when that hot gravy hit it, it's gonna make it perfect. But I just wanna stir it a little bit on each side, okay? Just enough. And you see what I'm doing? This how I'm doing it, just like this here. I put it in there, that grease is hot enough. Just gonna cook it a little bit on each side. But when I stick it in that hot gravy, it's gonna make it perfect. I just want this here like this here, okay? Just for a little bit, all right? So this is doing this like this here. I'm getting ready, what I'm getting ready to do now, I'm gonna take some of these little pieces on out of here because I don't want it overcooked, okay? I just don't want it overcooked because I'm going to have it in the gravy because these are so thin, okay? They just a little bit too thin. Because I want it to stay tender. I don't want it to be like all dried up and dried out, okay? So, and this is basically how you would do it, okay? If you're gonna do it, you're gonna do it like this here. Cause you know that back strap 
Okay, don't cook it too much because you want to keep it like tender. And then when it get in that gravy, it'll be perfect because I haven't over fried it at all. I'm gonna take my time and fix it. Because it's a lot of it. A lot of these little bitty ones. So let me just go ahead on finish frying this on up and I'll be back. Okay, I'm almost next to the last of doing it. I'm almost next to my last of frying it up, okay? Almost next to my last. I just got a little bit more to go. Means that my gravy, the flour, gonna be cooking up in there where it's gonna make some good gravy. You let that flour cook on up in there like that. I had this here on um, the little notch before six. I'm not cooking it no higher. I didn't go past six. It's the notch before six. I'm cooking this here on. Okay, that's what it's on. By the time I make it through here, turn all this here over. Then I go back, take it out. Okay, that's how you do it. By the time I finish turning over all these, I'm gonna go back and I'm taking it out. It look good fried up, huh? It look really good fried up. I gotta show you, I gotta show it to you up close. I want you to see what it's looking like fried up. See that? Now, tell me if that don't look good fried up. That looks really, really good, all fried. I seem like you can just eat it like that. You could, if you wanted to. You could, if you want to, but I'm taking it out now. Because I don't want to overcook it. Remember what I said, you don't want to overcook it. This is good, just like the said, it's already all seasoned up and everything. It's good, just like this here, fry it up. Okay, so let me show you this. Now, this is the deer strap, okay? This is deer strap, all right? Now, I'm gonna do the onion, but I'm doing them really thin, okay? You don't want no thick onion. I don't do thick onions. I do thin onion, because I'm gonna saute these onions on up here. All right? And I'm gonna put my uh put my because I don't have that much. So I don't have that much, so I don't need that much gravy to it. But I want my onions. The onions is gonna give it the flavor you need that you're looking for. Okay, my flour is still I cut my flour down to four. Cause all I have it doing is just browning. All right. That's it. Okay, so now I'm going to cut it on up to six. Okay, now I'm cutting it up to six because I'm going to fry these onions up in here. So I'm cutting it on up. Because I got my onions in now. Got my crust all down, all up in there. Ugh. Take these a loose. Okay, you see how thin they are? See that? You scrape that from the bottom. So that's uh, that's what's gonna make your gravy too, is this crust coming off of there. Now you're gonna take you some of that flour that you have left over here from this here deal. Put your little flour in there. Okay, we're not making no big ones, so you don't need that much. Put your little flour up in there and let that flour cook on up in there. Just like that. Okay, so what we're doing, we're making gravy from scratch. We're we'll going on in there because this gravy is going to have just a little color to it. We're going to let it simmer on up and I'm going to season it on up. Then we're going to take it and we're going to pour it over top of that deer. Okay, 
got this here doing it like this here. So it's some fried on up here some. I done turned it up to six now. So now it's on six. So that's what it's on now. So it can go ahead on and turn colors. And I put me a little flower up in there. Because I'm telling you, once you do this here, you watch that flower, how you put it up in there. Because I'm telling you, I'm, I'm going to use me some chicken broth. You watch that flower, how you put it up in there. Because if you don't, man, you're going to have a mess on your hands. That was about a cup full. Okay, so we get it like this here. We got it like this here, right? So now, we're going to put uh, some black pepper in there. About a tablespoon of black pepper. That's about a tablespoon of black pepper. About a teaspoon of salt. Okay. Gonna mix this here on up here. And all I'm gonna do is just let it cook. And see how it's starting to get thick already? It's already starting to get thick. But I want it to cook just a little bit more. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add me just a little bit more water, not water, a little bit more broth to it. And I'm going to cut it down to two because I want it just to simmer up to cook them onions up in here. Because I want it hot enough to where when I get ready to pour it over top of that deer, over top of that deer strap, it's going to continue to cook. Now visualize that. When you pour something hot on top of something, it continues to cook. So we're gonna cook this here till this onion is translucent. The gravy is getting thick. You see that? You see this gravy? Let me show it to you up close. Now, you see this gravy? Let me get it right here. See that gravy, how it's looking? See how it's starting to get thick? Now it can get thicker than that. But I don't want it that thick. Okay? I just want to let y'all know that. I don't want it that thick. Okay, let me show you this here. Whenever I have my rice, okay, I always like putting me a little butter in that rice because it makes it taste so much better. And I just like putting me just a little garlic. Just a little bit. Just a... Waking it up some, about, I only use about a half of a tablespoon. That's all I use. Just a half of a tablespoon in there, in, in here, in, in my uh, rice. Then I take it and I put me a little bit more black pepper in there, okay? Just a little bit more black pepper in there, cause it's gonna, cause I already have black pepper gonna be on that gravy. But I just want to bring out the flavor. That right there is about, about a half of a teaspoon. And then a half a teaspoon of salt. I'm not using that much now. It's not that much because you know my gravy already going to be salty already. So we already know that. We already know what's going to happen now. Okay. The rice isn't mushy. But it's perfect. Now, the kind of rice, really, I like using, I like that uh, Xanaran's rice. Watch how you do this here rice when you're stirring it up. Don't smash it. And never overcook your rice. Always go back and check it because the last thing you want is some smushy rice. Because I really don't like smushy rice. Okay? I like it to have a, where well, you can taste it. You know? You just want to taste it. All right, so my gravy is ready. Now what's going to happen is that the gravy is going to go on top of this deer strap. Okay, that deer strap show look good, baby. Look at it. Deer strap look good fried up there. Look good. Help me lower. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to take this gravy here. Just like this here. You see my gravy is ready. You see my onions the way they look. You can see through them. You're going to take that gravy. Let me make sure I can get this here right. Let me set this here right so you can see it. 
We're going to take this gravy, pour this gravy all over top of that. Okay? That's the gravy over top of that. All right? That's your gravy. Okay. Now, I want everybody to take a look at this. Look at it. See how it turned out? This is deer straps with gravy and onion. And I'm going to put it over some rice. And this meat is tender. And it's not overcooked. We got gravy on it. And it's going to go perfect. Okay? So I just want y'all to notice here. All right? Now. Now, I'm going to take and do the same thing. All I have is a Liberty piece of deer left. You know, my husband didn't want me to be making this here, but I'm going to make this next this next video because all I have is just Liberty pieces because I'm going to fix it for my daughter. But I'm going to do it basically the same kind of way, but I'm just going to use me some seasonings up in there. Okay? I'm going to use me some seasonings up in there. You're going to see how I season it up. All right? So, all I want to tell you... I hope you enjoy the video that I made. And don't forget to hit subscribe and like, okay? If you do it this way, tell me how you like it, okay? Tell me how I like Because remember, I just cut it up real thin like, okay? Really thin like. I didn't cut it up thick because you know you want to pick it up in the fork, and you know you want to eat it in the fork. And you know I didn't leave it in there long frying. A couple of seconds on each side. Because it'll finish cooking. Because you don't want to cook that deer like all the way. Because it'll be kind of dry. And you want it to be tender and taste good. Alright. So give somebody a big hug. Tell them you love them. And bon appetit baby. <laughs>